Hello, guys. Um, uh, you are joined by the arduous moth, uh, and I'm playing Universe Sandbox 2. Now, um, the sun has expanded into a um, what we call as uh, the early stages of a red giant. Um, now, a normal red giant would be like three times the size, so it would be like reaching out here. Uh, that's how big the stop would be. Um, so it will be like, I'll just show you how big it will be. It doesn't want an increase in mass. Don't know why. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So, if we make that one side. So now it's just gonna. So a normal red giant will stretch out to here. So, <laughs> the earth will be engulfed. So it's like 2200 degrees. So that's what a red giant would be like. Huge fucking star. Like from uh, is it Saturn. Like from Saturn. That is possibly one of the. That is huge. That is what Red Giant would look like. That is massive. So, uh, Mercury, Venus are gone. Poor Venus. Uh, we are going to just let it run. Hopefully the star does not collapse on itself. No, it's not. But oh my god, the Earth is getting cooked alive. Look at the size of that star. Now this is the sun, like, uh, like... This isn't even like the red giant size. Like this is normal red giant size, but when the star reaches final death rows, it like reaches out to like around here, so it nearly swallows Jupiter. So. Hopefully, the uh, the Earth might escape because as the sun it expands, the gravitational pull weakens. Um. Yeah. So. Mhm. Mm so now we're just going to increase in this. So now, and Mars is getting good for us. And Jupiter, Jupiter is actually at a stable temperature, 303 degrees. Even though that's not stable temperature. Still, it's um, okay, it's 31 minus 23. So, I think our best bets when the sun is in this stage is U uh, Uranus. I need to set the other name. <laughs> uh, Uran Uranus, Uranus, hang on. Let me just. Uranus. Uranus! Uranus, there you go, Uranus. Take out the A so it doesn't sound in inappropriate. Uh, so it would expand out to Uranus. Um, no! Sorry, I am being an absolute dick. Um, Uranus would be our best bet for, like, habitable, habitability. Because. Uh, that's when the sun is like in its um in its mid uh uh red giant stage. So then when the sun expands again, as I'll show you, when the sun expands again it's gonna swallow well well, let's just hmm, let's just say that uh Let's just say this. The Earth manages, manages to get around this orbit here. So the Earth is like, I don't know, probably, probably around here. And then Mars, I don't know, 
I don't know. Mars might also escape, so Mars might be like here. Uh, oh, no, no, I don't want to explode. No, I don't want to explode anything. So now... Oh, poor old little Sears. Only we can put attached rockets onto it and make it drift. Just spar that. So now the sun is going to expand again, obviously. So as the sun expands again, it's going to possibly swallow up. Uh, oh my god, how close is that? And OMG, that is... There's going to be nothing left. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's that bad. It's like terrible. Is that actually getting ripped apart? Oh, it's just cooking lab. Okay. Uh, so imagine if the Earth just like escapes. Um, and the Earth got all of its stuff back, like all of its, I don't know, shit back. So, oh no! Get that way. Hmm. Okay, so now the sun's expanded again, and oh my god, that is a huge, that is massive. I did not expect it to be that big. So the sun's expanded again. Mars and Earth have gotten lucky and it and have actually managed to escape the sun's. Uh, uh, the sun's uh, outer layers, outer atmosphere. Uh, you, you may be thinking, the Earth and, and Mars, uh, they're not going to escape, but I don't want Earth and Mars to die, so I just move them out. Jupiter, on the other hand, is... It's still at 303 degrees, what the fuck? You messed up. Look at the size of that. That is horrendously big. So, the Sun is in the... Th Third, second stage of this red giant. No, third stage of this red giant phase now. And uh, I think this fifth stage is to, to the red giant stage. Uh, so, again, um, the sun is going to expand again. It's, it's going to be like fluctuation like this, and then coming back down, and then going back up. It, 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 that's what red giants do. But over time, it's going to get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Until poor little Jupiter... Well, Jupiter might actually be able to just, like... Almost like kiss the sun goodbye. Um, so, let's think of this. Move Jupiter away, I don't know, probably around here. And then Saturn, I don't know, just think of it. Saturn comes close to Jupiter, then gets thrown out or thrown into the sun. So, I don't know, Saturn gets thrown out to here, and then uh, Uranus gets thrown out to around here. Mars also gets thrown out. Earth gets lucky again, gets thrown out here, and is that all? No, it's not. Neptune gets thrown out again as well. So you, so you can just see like how big. And oh my god, you fuck it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move series. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move the poor little thing because this is just unfair on the poor little planet. Now you, you may be thinking, you, you may be saying, series is not a planet. You'd be surprised that Ceres is actually classified as a planetoid. Planetoid is in the class of planets. So now, the sun is going to expand right up again. So it's about here. And this might seem stupid, but some red giants can get this big. They are huge. So it's eight astronauts. <laughs> it's massive. So now the sun's red giant eyes 
Uh, and you may, be, you may be like thinking, like, why do you keep on clicking auto orbit? It's because I want to keep the objects in orbit around the sun and not let them fall in towards the sun. So now. Fuck you, though. Oh, the Earth is. Uh... <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sir. I just joined the Earth. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> so where is Mars? Marsy, 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 Mars. There you are. Turn you on. Nope. Not turn you on. So now the sun is this big. And the sun is just... Uh, it's huge. Like, I'll show you how big this is compared to our modern day sun. This is our modern day sun, you know, the little white dot here, and this is the red giant sun. Um, and this might look like, this, I think it's, yeah, it's bigger than Battlegirl, uh, Battlegirl. Um, so, I mean, that might sound stupid because Battlegirl is red super giant, it's close to death, but Battlegirl is shrunk, so Battlegirl used to be bigger than this, but then it's shrunk down. Um, so now the sun is still third, it's about to move on to its fourth, so now it expands again, but then as it expands it stops expanding and then it contracts, it literally just contracts on itself, so it gets smaller and smaller and smaller, and it stops here, and it expands again, and it keeps on expanding, so it's about, I don't know, 311 astral uh, No, I think it's like 15 astral years. Yeah, it's about that big. Um, suddenly it gets about this big. And this is ridiculous size. Like, really, it's ridiculous. I think it's bigger than a few of my tons of guys. Um, blow me down, it is. So, anyway. As we're talking, our sun is about to die. Like literally, it is about probably three to four million years away from its death. So it's really, really, really close. So now our sun's ginormous, and plus it is dimmed in temperature. So it's now, I don't know, you. So it is red. It is. It is just bloody red. It is. Really, really red. Like, I think the reddest star, I think it's a little bit bright, a little bit less red than this. But this just shows you, like, how big this can get. So, now, the sun is going to shrink down, so it's about... size of Earth. So it's about the size of Earth. So now it's Earth sized. Like uh Oh no why did I expand the system? Anyway, that's the matter. Um So now it's Earth sized. I don't know, it's probably about like like this. So it's now a white dwarf. Really, really sad, so it's a white dwarf now. Uh, everything's kind of, like, messed itself over. So the sun's a white dwarf. And, <laughs> this is the sun in the next couple billion years. And you will see, if we go to Earth, you will see, uh, if I stop time, You're going to see that in the sky. If I get rid of all this, you're going to see that in the sky. Just a little teeny blue dot in the sky. So yeah, thank you for watching, and I hope this has helped some people. Um, if it has, then thank you for watching, and I hope you like, subscribe, and share. Peace.